Hey guys, I'm about to start a new trip. This time I'm heading off to Nagano, which is about an hour and a half or two hours away from Tokyo by the Shinkansen. But the Shinkansen is very expensive. Instead, I will be taking a night bus, which is an economical way of getting around Japan. I am here at Shinjuku station, probably the most confusing station in the entire world. Anyone who has been to Shinjuku station before knows exactly what I'm talking about. It's like a gigantic maze in here. I do know that the uh, highway bus terminal is on the south side of Shinjuku station. I just don't know exactly which way is south. Oh, I think that's it. Oh, there you go. Cause that's, that's the building I remember. Express bus at the very top. And uh, here is the bus terminal. I gotta say, after catching lots of buses and being to lots of bus terminals all over Asia, it's nice to see such a clean and organized bus terminal for once. So after chucking the luggage and the storage, it's time to board the bus. I will see you guys in about six hours. It's uh, super super early here in Nagano, like before sunrise early. So I'm switching over to the local railway now. We're gonna go check out one of Nagano's most famous temples first. Wow, look at the temple covered in snow. That is beautiful. So this is Zenkoji, one of the most important temples in all of Japan. And this looks like a monk. Man, how is he not cold in that? I would be freezing if I was just wearing a robe. So this is the main gate. Now I hope I've come in time for the O Asaji. That's the morning service that they do every day. Looks like they're just about to start. The music is starting to play. So one of the cool things you can do with your 500 yen entrance is to go through the pitch black tunnel of Okaidan Meguri and try to find the key to paradise. So basically it's a pitch black tunnel, darkness represents death, finding the key is believed to bring you a peaceful afterlife. So let's go through this pitch black tunnel and see if we can find the key. Oh there's a little bit of light. You can see the left side is uh, lit by candles, so if I just use my hands to feel the right side of the wall... Oh, this is it. I don't know if you guys can see it, but I'm pretty sure this is it. Alright, mission accomplished. Let's get out of here because uh, it's really cold in here. I gotta take his shoes off so my feet are freezing. And now the sun is up and it's snowing, great. So let's go explore the rest of the temple. Oh, back out into the cold. Grab one of these incense sticks. There you go. Walk over to the burning pot. And then uh, I guess you just chuck it in there. Blow some of that smoke. <laughs> oh my god, that smells terrible. Leading up to the Zenkoji is a long walking street full of shops and restaurants. Here you can also find many historic shukubo, traditional temple lodging provided to pilgrims who used to visit Zenkoji from all over Japan, but are now open to tourists. 
in front of one of the most important temples in all of Japan on a traditional Japanese shopping street is a Starbucks. That's right, Starbucks even has a branch here. They really are everywhere. Oh my god, is that a cat? Oh my god, it is a cat. Oh my god, look at that. It's so cute. The owner brought back a Starbucks coffee cup. And now sleeping next to the coffee. <laughs> The owner has name cards for the cat. It's a traveling cat. Now, if you're looking for a traditional Nagano snack, then I would recommend the Oyaki. And in Nagano, there is nobody more well known for the Oyaki than the store behind me, Irohado. Irohado has branches all over Nagano, but this is the branch right in front of Zenkoji. So it's a bit touristy, which means they got an English introduction. That's what an Oyaki looks like. Balls of dough fried with a filling inside. It seems like all the fillings are vegetarian. Oh yep, here it says bun stuffed with vegetables, no meat, no fish, vegetables and uh, mushroom only. Which is a little unfortunate, but I'm still gonna try one out. I guess I'll go for number one popular, Nozawana, which is uh, pickled vegetables. Konnichiwa. Oh, okay. So they know I don't speak Japanese. <laughs> Nozawana, uh, hitotsu kudasai. Arigatouzaimasu. So yeah, basically like a fried ball of dough. Let's uh, see how it tastes. Mm. Ooh, it is hot. Now you can see there's quite a bit of dough on the outside, so it's going to be quite filling. The outside of the dough is cooked to the point where it's a little bit crispy. And on the inside, you've got a lot of those pickled vegetables. They're quite generous with the filling. For something with no meat in it, it's not too bad. You know, I don't like vegetables, but when it's pickled, it's not that bad. Like, I love kimchi. You know what? If they shoved kimchi inside this, that would be glorious. But yeah, the best thing about this in a winter's day is that it's really hot. Oh. 